Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to Skein Spider. Today we're going to be making a basic moth pattern which you can use to customize however you like. So grab your hooks and let's get started. To make this pattern you're going to need a 3mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, a needle, pins, stuffing and 8 ply yarn in the colours of your choice. We're going to start off the head by putting six single crochet in a magic circle for round one. Round two is six increases. That's just two single crochet in each stitch from the previous round. For round three, what we're going to do is begin with three single crochet and I'm just going to stick my stitch marker in the first single crochet of the round. One, two and three and then we're going to follow that with three increases in a row. And third increase and then all we're going to do is repeat that same pattern again we're going to do three single crocheting and then finish the round with three increases round four begins with one single crochet whoops and then in the next stitch we're going to do another increase after that we're going to do two single crochet one increase and we're going to repeat that five times increase. When you've done that fifth increase you should have one stitch left in your round and we're just going to put a single crochet into that. Round five is three single crochet, one increase repeated six times or for the entire round. Round six begins with two single crochet and then we're going to follow that with an increase. After that repeat four single crochet, one increase five times and then we're just going to finish off the round with two single crochet. At the end of round six, there should be 36 stitches in your round and then round seven, eight and nine are just going to be 36 single crochet each. Round 10 is 11 single crochet and an increase repeated three times. Round 11 is 39 single crochet all the way around. Round 12 is 12 single crochet, one increase repeated three times. Round 13 is 42 single crochet. At round 14, we're going to begin our decrease rounds. So we're going to start off with five single crochet. five and then we're going to do an invisible decrease to do that we're going to go under the front loops of each of the next two stitches 
The front loop is the part of the stitch that's closest to you. So if you look at each individual stitch, you can see that it looks like a little V. The part of the V that's on this side, again, closest to you, is the front loop. So we're going to go undo, under. <laughs> so we're going to go under the front loop of the next stitch and the stitch after that as well. Yarn over and then pull through both of those front loops. Yarn over and pull through the two loops on your hook to finish the stitch. And that's how you do an invisible decrease. We're going to repeat that pattern five more times, five single crochet, one decrease, or until we reach the end of the round. Round 15 begins with two single crochet and then we're going to follow that with a decrease. After that we're going to repeat the pattern of four single crochet, one decrease five times and then just finish off the round with two single crochet. Round 16 is three single crochet and a decrease repeated six times. After round 16, we're just going to take out our hooks and secure the end and we're going to begin stuffing. But before we do that, if you don't want to use the crochet eyes, which we're going to be doing later, uh, add your safety eyes at this point. So add those first and then stuff the head. When you finish stuffing, Go ahead and reinsert your hook and then we're going to continue on to round 17 which begins with one single crochet after that we're going to do a decrease and then repeat two single crochet one decrease five times and then just finish off the round with one single crochet Round 18 is one single crochet and a decrease repeated six times. And round 19 is going to be our final round and that's just six decreases. When you're finished, you're just going to cut a short tail, just needs to be long enough that you can weave it in. And then to close up that hole, we're going to grab our needles and thread the tail end through that. And then using the front loops, we're going to start from behind the front loops and we're going to go under the front loop of the first stitch. So from back to front, and we're going to repeat that for the rest of the stitches too. And six. When that's done, we're just going to pull on the yarn to close the hole. And then, as you can see, we're going to be left with a little bit of a lump here. To get rid of that, go straight into the center of round 19. Weave your needle out through the body somewhere and then you're going to pull firmly on the yarn until that little lump lays flat. And then just continue weaving the needle through the body to, or the head rather, we haven't done the body yet. Snip off the excess yarn. And then that's done, we can go on to do the body. For the body, I'm using the same pastel blue yarn that I did for the head, but you can use whichever colour you like. We're going to begin round one with six single crochet in a magic circle. Round two is one single crochet, one increase repeated three times. Round three is two single crochet and an increase repeated three times.
Round four is three single crochet and an increase repeated three times. Round five is four single crochet, one increase repeated three times. Round six is 18 single crochet. Round seven is five single crochet and an increase done three times. Round eight is 21 single crochet. Round nine is six single crochet and one increase repeated three times. Round 10 is 24 single crochet. Round 11 is seven single crochet, one increase repeated three times. Round 12 is just 27 single crochet. Round 13 is eight single crochet, one increase repeated three times. At the end of round 13, we should have 30 stitches in our round and then rounds 14 through to 20 are just going to be 30 single crochet each. When you finish round 20, we're just going to slip stitch, there we go, and cut a tail that's long enough that we'll be able to sew the body to the head later on. For the eyes, we're going to begin once again with six single crochet in a magic circle. We're going to begin round two by doing two increases. And then in the next stitch, in the third stitch from round one, we're going to put one half double crochet, one double crochet, and another half double crochet, all in this one stitch. So to begin doing a half double crochet, we're going to yarn over first, then go into the stitch, yarn over and pull through. At this point, you should have three loops on your hook. To finish off, yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. And that's the half double crochet. To do the double crochet, we're going to start off in a similar manner. We're going to yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over and pull through again. So we have three loops on our hook. However, this time, instead of pulling through all three loops, we're going to yarn over and just pull through the first two. This will leave you with two loops on your hook, yarn over again and pull through both of those loops. And that's the double crochet. We're just going to finish off with a half double crochet in the same stitch. And then we're going to repeat that entire pattern again. So we're going to do two increases and two. Second increase. And then in the last stitch, we're going to do a half double crochet a double crochet and a half double crochet all in the one stitch. This will give us 14 stitches when we're finished 
and then round three is just going to be 14 single crochet. Finish off with a slip stitch and then once again we're going to be leaving a tail for sewing. Next up we're going to crochet the antenna and to do that we're going to begin with four single crochet in a magic circle. Round two is one single crochet, one increase repeated twice. Round three is two single crochet and an increase repeated twice. Round four is just eight single crochet. Round five is three single crochet and an increase repeated twice. Round six is 10 single crochet. Round seven is four single crochet and an increase repeated twice. Round eight begins with one decrease and then we're going to follow that with 10 single crochet. Round nine also begins with a decrease and then we're going to do nine single crochet after that. Round 10 is a decrease followed by eight single crochet. And round 11, our final round is one decrease followed by seven single crochet. We're going to finish off with a slip stitch and then cut a tail for sewing. The last bit of crocheting that we need to do is for the wings and we're going to begin those by making a slip knot and then chaining three. One, two and three. Starting in the second chain from the hook, we're going to do one increase. And then we're going to do an increase in the next stitch as well. For row two, we're going to chain and turn and just do four single crochet across. For row three, chain and turn, and we're going to do one increase in the first stitch. followed by two single crochet. And then an increase in the last stitch. Row four, chain one and turn, and we're going to do six single crochet. For row five, we're going to chain one and turn our work, and then we're going to do one increase, four single crochet, and finish with an increase. Row six, chain and turn, and then we're going to do eight single crochet, eight single crochet. Row seven, chain one and turn. We're going to do one increase, six single crochet, and then finish on an increase. Row eight, chain and turn, and then we're going to do 10 single crochet. Row 
row nine, chain one and turn. We're going to do an increase, eight single crochet and an increase. Row 10, chain and turn, and we're going to do 12 single crochet. For row 11, we're also going to chain one and turn our work, and then we're going to do an increase, followed by 10 single crochet, and then finish with an increase. Row 12, chain one and turn, and this time we're going to do 14 single crochet. For row 13, chain one and turn your work. We're going to do an increase, 12 single crochet, and then another increase. Row 14, chain one and turn, and then we're going to do 16 single crochet. Row 15, chain one and turn, and then we're going to do an increase, 14 single crochet and another increase. Row 16, chain and turn, and then we're going to do 18 single crochet. Row 17 begins with a chain and turn your work, and then we're going to do an increase, 16 single crochet and another increase. Row 18, chain one and turn your work, and then we're just going to do 20 single crochet across. At the end of row 18, instead of cutting our yarn, what we're instead going to do is to single crochet around the entire edge of our wing to finish it off. So all you need to do is go into the end of each row and single crochet your way along. Once you've single crocheted down this side, you're going to single crochet across the bottom here and then back up the other side. I'm also going to be crocheting over this end here, the end from our slip knot, but if you prefer, you can weave it in when you're finished. When you've finished crocheting around the edges, we're just going to slip stitch to finish off. Now at this point you've got two options. What you can do is cut a fairly long tail for sewing and then weave the end back down the wing here because it's this narrower point that we're going to sew on to the body later. So you can either cut a long tail, weave it down so you can use that end or you can cut a short tail, weave that, in, weave that end in and then when we come to the sewing part you can attach a length of yarn to this section and sew it on that way. But I'm going to be taking the longer tail option. So when it comes time to assemble our moth, I'm going to weave that in down the back of the stitches to this end here. All right, now that all our parts are crocheted, we can start assembling our moth. We're going to begin by sewing the body to the head. But before we do that, we need to add a little bit of stuffing. Now the final stitch count for the body was 30. So what we're going to do is attach that between rounds 15 and 16 of the head, which will be 30 single crochet. So what you can do 
is start from our final round and you can count out. So we've got 19, 18, 17, 16 and 15. So we want to go here. And then when you've got the right spot, just pin the body in place and then begin sewing. And then to finish off, all we're going to do is weave this end through the head or the body. And snip away the excess. Next up we're going to sew on the eyes, but before we do that, what we're going to be doing is adding a little pupil or a reflective spot, whatever you want to call it, with some white yarn. So you're going to cut just a short length of white yarn and then thread it through your needle. And the exact size you want to make it is up to you, but I'm just going to start above round one here. And then skip down to between rounds two and three. And then you're just going to go over that two or three times. And once you finish, just tie it off at the back. that's done. Now where you place the eyes is entirely up to you but I'm going to be placing mine or the tops between rounds five and six and I've also angled the eye downwards slightly so it's not straight on it's on at a bit of a, it's at a bit of an angle and once I've got the top pinned in place I'm also just going to add a tiny bit of stuffing you don't have to do this, but it does give the eye a little bit more shape. And then just pin the rest of your eye down. And if you're happy with their placement, go ahead and sew them on. After the eyes, we're going to sew on the antenna. You're going to sew the top of the antenna, so this part here, between rounds two and three. And we're going to line up the entire antenna with the front of round one here. So we've got round one, this is what I'm calling the front. And we're going to place our antenna there. And the final thing that we need to attach is the wings. Now, if you cut the yarn at the end and weaved it in, you're going to need to cut another length of yarn to thread that through your needle and then use that to sew on the wings. However, what I'm going to do is thread this tail end from the wider part of the wing and I'm going to weave it back down through the backs of my stitches. And then we're going to weave that all the way down until we reach the narrow end and that's where we're going to sew the wing onto the body. So one on each side. Now where you want to sew on the wings is entirely up to you. You can angle them, you can have them straight out, you can have them facing up. Totally up to you. So decide where you'd like your wing to sit. And then when you like how they look, sew those on as well. And that is our basic moth pattern all finished. They're really easily customizable. As you can see here, you can throw in some color changes or add different pupils. You can really do, do anything with them. So have fun being creative and I will see you guys next week with another pattern.